Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today I've got here the X9s from Zido which is one of their latest Android TV boxes available and I say one of them because they also have got the X8 which is a stripped down version from this one and they have the A5s and the A5 which is a stripped down version from the A5s. Now for those of you that are not aware I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check the specifications for those boxes and see if there's any interesting for you guys. Now I'm happy to uh, share with you and I'm happy uh, to see Zidu releasing the X9s along with those boxes that I've mentioned uh, especially because about two years ago I did review the X9 which is right over here and back then I was really happy to see this box not because it was uh, the best Android TV box av available sorry back then because it wasn't uh, but it was good enough to be uh, fighting in the mid-range to uh, top range um, with a really interesting feature which is the HDMI uh, input and recording capabilities which is what the X9S has uh, today and makes this device really interesting. It is not the best Android TV box in terms of hardware but it is good enough in my opinion of course uh, to be able to fight and we will see that in the review to be able to fight with those mid-range to higher range and I'm really happy to see this because after the X9 we had the X6 Pro uh, which it is uh, for the lack of better words probably a boring box. Uh, boring when I say it works fine but uh, when we have so many choices on the market the X6 Pro did not bring uh, much features at least new features to the market. Now I do use it every week and I'm using right now to record this video for those of you that follow the channel you know that I've got a screen right over there and the X6 Pro uh, right over there. Um, being used to record the video but in terms of Android TV box itself it didn't bring uh, nothing new to the table so what I see uh, from Zero back then was uh, decreasing from the uh, in terms of market from the X9 to the X6 Pro which was on the lower spectrum of the, of these Android TV boxes. Then we saw the X5 which was a complete disappointment. Um, well not complete but it was really disappointing. The, the X5 has my favorite sock at this moment which is the AM Logic S905. Now the AM Logic S905X but when it came out um, I was with a really high expectations just to see that this box was really limited by uh, the firmware and it was once again fighting in the lower ends of the Android TV boxes. By the way I will leave links right over here on the screen so that you guys can check uh, all these reviews and, and see what I mean because in some reviews uh, especially the X5 and the X1 I was a bit harsh to, well but uh, the boxes didn't deserve more than um, I did mention back then. And then we had the X1 which was even worse than the X5 right over there and this one features the all winner H3 and it is one of those socks that I don't understand and the firmware was very limited, no Bluetooth and things like that. So these are not the boxes that I do enjoy to use because they don't have enough features that I use on this type of boxes. After that they released also the uh, X1 version 2 which I didn't waste time on reviewing it because even though it was a little bit stronger than this one with the Rockship uh, 3329 um, sock but uh, lacked a lot of features. So guys this is a little bit of history in terms of Zidu and after all this uh, history that I can say more or less two years I'm happy as I said at the beginning of the video to see the X9S along with the X8, the A5S and the A5 <laughs> coming along although I didn't test out the other three but coming along and uh, making Zidu returning and coming back as I said, as I said to um, the game of the Android TV box at least those in the mid range to higher range and that being said with this long intro sorry about that guys let's go straight for the video hope that you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds And here we are back with the Zidu X9S that features the Realtek 1295 SOC, 2GB of DDR3 RAM and 16GB of flash storage with 
Android 6.0.1. Now regarding our very quick unboxing experience, once you open this package uh, right over here, we will find the Zidu X9S on the top, a power adapter, a SATA cable, two external antennas with an SMA connection, infrared remote control and then a HDMI cable. Now when we took a closer look at the Zidu X9S, uh, it has a dark aluminum enclosure and looks really nice and sturdy. Now, at um, the left and side we will find some uh, air vents at the front we will see this uh, blue light which turns red when we turn it off and it also has a clock now just a warning for you guys that are wondering if it if this is a, a good android tv box for your room or not if you place it in a pl in a place that is directed to your eyes the light is a bit strong so i would not advise for a bedroom for a living a living room it is okay but for a dark environment not that good especially when we have the light pointing at our eyes now looking at the right side we will have a sata connection usb 3.0 port and two USB uh, 2.0 ports at the back, two external antennas, one gigabit Ethernet port, HDMI out um, 2.0, HDMI in, AV out, optical out, reset button, a micro SD card slot, power input jack, and a power button. At the bottom, four rubber feet and some uh, air vents for cooling, and then uh, on the top, we've got some. Uh, references in terms of uh, the capability some some of the features of this uh, particular android tv box now uh, when we turn this uh, device on we will find the launcher the z the launcher uh, but as i always mention in all my reviews you can install any launcher that uh, that we want and use it as i always do in this particular case what we are seeing on screen is the kk M launcher which is the one that I'm using at this moment also it comes with an infrared remote control guys and we have seen this in the past it has some cool features and I'll try not to forget to post a link somewhere around over here so which <laughs> for a video that I did uh, back a while back and I show some of the features of this remote but as I always say guys for the best experience the I always advise and I use it myself a uh, wireless remote it doesn't matter if it's a five dollar wireless remote or uh, ex more expensive ones but i honestly uh, suggest a wireless remote for our um best uh, usage of any android uh, tv box next i want to point out that the zidu x9 as usual uh, they've got online updates which for me are very important i don't need to download anything the box will do uh, everything as soon as i press that update button and next going for the benchmarks uh, what i can say is that it's not as i said on the intro it's not uh, uh, the best um in terms of hardware the best android tv box in terms of hardware it is uh, capable of doing most of our uh, daily needs in terms of multimedia and especially having the um, HDMI input which I will cover in just a few uh, a few seconds but as you guys can see there I will not mention the numbers but you can see that it's a bit lower than some of the machines that we have seen uh, here in, on the channel but it is capable as we are, will see right now in terms of gaming uh, we will be able to play any game on the Android platform I did test out Beach Buggy Racing which is an easy game to play and then uh, Responables uh, which is really fun to play <laughs> also easy and Asphalt 8 Airborne which is a bit more heavy uh, and the box was capable of handling all those um, games really nice no lags or freezes or whatsoever so uh, in terms of uh, gaming capability uh, i also played with um, game stream which for those of you that, once again that follow the channel know that i really love it uh, and i did test out two games at least was gas guzzlers and also grid out of sports and both of them played at 1080 with 60 frames per second with no problems at all um, as we did with the zidu x5 which the x5 had a lot of problems but did play around uh, with um, game, game stream sorry and also the x9s i'm happy to see that it's capable of doing game streaming now one of the most important features in my opinion of course it is the hdmi input of this android tv box and uh, i think this will be a this uh, a, a critical sorry a critical factor to push out this box for those of you that are looking for a mid-range box with hdmi input once again the x9s 
it is the most uh, clever, I don't know, choice or the unique choice uh, to make at this moment. Now, I did test out as I did in the past with the X9S. Um, I did test out the HDMI input in, in my test, as you guys can see uh, by now on screen. I did connect my TV provider box, which has a HDMI output, and I did play around with it, um, and the experience was really nice. There's not much that I can say. I was able to use the picture-in-picture -picture feature and drag the window uh, to any place on the screen and then record the footage from the TV and recording the quality uh, that it's uh, recorded. Sorry, it's not as good as a standalone HDMI recorder, but uh, it is capable of doing a pretty good job and so that you guys can judge for yourself as always i will try to post a link down below in the video description with a sample of the video that i did record and you guys will be able to download it and then play on your computer and judge if the quality is enough or if you want to get a standalone hdmi recorder for your needs that being said guys, in terms of media playback or video playback to be more precise, uh, the YouTube app is capable of playing at uh, or the maximum is 1080 uh, resolution. Netflix on the other hand, uh, the maximum that it goes is to up to SD quality of 480 um, P quality and I will not show any video there for because of copyright issues but that's the maximum that I could. In terms of Kodi, um, Zidu comes with the optimized version, uh, the ZDMC, um, but I also installed Kodi 16.1 and all the content was streamed as always across my network as usual and um, everything played smoothly. I, I had no issues, uh, videos, my videos are 1080 uh, movies, Blu-ray movies, MKV files and I had no issues at all and then I test out also the 4K samples H.264 and H.265 uh, codecs with 8-bit and 10-bit videos and as usual uh, my samples are the Big Buck Bunny, it is of still Sintel, Iceland and Dive into the New World and I had no issues at all with Kodi uh, having a really good, good experience uh, with all of the movies that um, I played around. So if you are looking for something to play to stream movies and having that HDMI record capability, this is once again a device that we can actually use it and, and have a great experience. Now moving to the mirroring and streaming, which is also something that I use a lot with my boxes. Uh, Zidu comes with an app installed, actually a few apps, uh, both for iOS and Android, but um, it worked uh, for my Mac and I always use photos app to stream live slideshows from the photos app and it worked great I had no issues and I was streaming uh, high bitrate files uh, from the computer to the box and um, as always I did try some of the slideshows sliding panels magazine stars and vintage prints and the experience was really good but when I did try to uh, mirror and streamer my iPhone SE to the box I couldn't at least with the app that comes in uh, in pre-installed on this box uh, I, I tried everything that I could uh, um, but no uh, I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> use it uh, so what I did was to disable everything uh, that was Miracast and so on and so forth and installed my favorite app which is Airpin Pro and um, I was back in the game <laughs> so I could um, shared and stream and mirror my phone to the box as you guys can see there on screen and also uh, with the uh, Mac as well using Airpin Pro and that is it guys uh, in terms of conclusion what I can say are the things that I did like the most in terms of the X9S starting with the design and build quality we are back with aluminium with a great enclosure right over here with a really nice design having in mind that the design is something very subjective also the online updates that we have in every machine from Zidu and with frequent updates the HDMI input uh, and capable of recording from any HDMI source which I do believe for this machine is the selling point a very smooth video playback in all the formats that I did test out which are, are the formats that I use on my uh, multimedia library and also capable of game streaming at 1080 with 60 frames per second which I do use a lot with my kids. On the other hand guys, things that I did like the least on this particular uh, device, the X9S, uh, I only found one issue at this moment which was the airplay uh, from the phone to the device does not work 
perfectly. Uh, well, it doesn't work at all with the iPhone SE, so it will need some fixing in terms of firmware. It's not the hardware. Using AirPin Pro, you will be able to to enjoy the phone and computer stream but with the built-in apps we will not airpin pro is a is a premium app by the way that being said guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video i'm not really sure if it's too long or not it is a bit too long <laughs> but that was it a bit of history and then the review and once again hope that you guys enjoy the video my name is wet george and don't forget that usual thumbs up over there as always i'll see you on the next one